Hey everybody, exciting news. Samsung has released the One UI 6.1 for our Galaxy Z Fold 5. So we're going to jump right into it, see what we get with the update, and go over the top five AI features that you need to enable to get the best out of your Z Fold 5. Let's get into it. Okay, so um, I'm filming this on March 29th. As you can see, I updated the Z Fold 5 last night at 9.33 p.m. That specific time I'm in California. So let's go ahead and take a look. So super excited we get the AI features that come from the S24 Ultra series to the Z Fold 5. Uh, there is a lot of updates here. If we just click on all the changes, you can see there's just a ton of updates. So uh, we'll be jumping into five of the main AI features to use on the Z Fold 5. Uh, to go over the update, it ends in CXCF. It is two gigs, so it's almost three gigs to download this, so it will take a while. And this does bring out uh, the March 1st security patch. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what we get here. Uh, so I've gone ahead and updated. So let's jump into a couple main things that everybody's been talking about. So the number one thing is the circle to search. So circle to search is a feature um, that allows you to press and hold at the bottom here. And then we can circle anything on our screen and it will go out and find it. So. Let's go ahead and just test this out real quick. We'll jump into our Google feed here and just take a look. Let's find something. Okay, so let's just go ahead and find an item here. Um, one thing to note is it doesn't work that well with people or faces. So we're gonna go ahead and try and stay away from that. Um, let's see, why don't we just go ahead and pick this area here. So we're gonna go ahead, press and hold. And what's cool is you can actually zoom into uh, the item that you wanna circle. And then we just simply circle it. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna go out onto the internet and it's gonna find information about what we are looking at. So this tells us here, this is the Bixby Bridge. It's located in California and there are some other information. There's quick facts and so forth. So this is a super exciting, useful tool uh, that I've been using on my S24 Ultra um, since it released. I also have it on the uh, Pixel 8 Pro and I love this feature. I use it all the time. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look back. Next one we're going to talk about is we have the translate phone calls in real time. So this is really cool. You can actually go into your dialer. So we're going to go ahead and go into the dialer. We're going to press the three dots up here. We can go into settings. And once we go into settings, we have different options in here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and enable this. So we will go to our settings. We're going to scroll down and we should have a new section. So we've got our advanced features and then we have advanced intelligence. And then this is all of the new AI features. So we're going to go ahead and click on phone. Oh, I don't have a SIM card in here, so it's actually not going to show you uh, on this phone. So let me go ahead and bring over another phone real quick. OK, so um, we'll go ahead and jump into the interpreter settings. Uh, we can do tap to talk. These are all the different options. So we'll go ahead and enable that. We have some more advanced intelligence features here. Uh, so now if we swipe down in our quick panel, we should now have a quick toggle for interpreter, which is right here. And so what this is going to do is this is going to allow you uh, to use this if you're speaking to somebody, say you're in a different country, you don't speak the language. This is going to translate what they're saying in their language back to them and then vice versa. So we'll go ahead and hit continue there and we'll go ahead and allow permissions. And this is going to download our Spanish language pack. This is the most common that we would be using here, at least um, for me. We'll go ahead and let that download. And then once it's downloaded, we'll go ahead and show you how that works. Okay, so we're back uh, with the interpreter. So this is showing the Spanish language pack. So we'll go ahead and click OK. And so here we have the interpreter 
shorter section. So we can go ahead and this is the Spanish side and this is the English side. So if we wanted to figure out how to say something in Spanish, we can go ahead and hit the microphone. Hello, how are you doing today? Hola, ¿cómo estás hoy? And so as you can see, it interprets the language here. So this is your native language and then this is the language that we've selected. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back into our settings and we're going to go back into the advanced features and into the advanced intelligence. So we've gone over the interpreter. In the Samsung Notes, we now have the ability when we um, take a note, we can either summarize, correct, or generate covers. So let's go ahead and take a look at how that works. So if we go into our Notes application, And if we go ahead and go into a note here, let's go ahead and find a, we've got some notes. So let's go ahead and just take a look at this one here. So as you can see, we've got the little AI character here. So if we go ahead and press on that, we can go ahead and click OK. And now we can either auto format, summarize, do correct spelling or translate. So if we do summarize, it's going to take a summary of everything that we've written. We can go ahead and go back and let's go ahead and do a uh, translate. We can go ahead and translate this into a different language if we want. So right now we just have the Spanish translation. So if we needed to translate, we could go ahead and do that. Now everything's been translated into Spanish. So this is a really cool uh, feature that has been added to the Samsung Notes. Uh, I particularly like the auto format because we can do headers and bullets or meeting notes. So if we just go ahead and do that, it'll go ahead and bake everything. And now everything's been aligned into headers and bullets. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at our next feature that we have here. Let's talk about the Samsung Internet. So if you use Samsung Internet, we now are able to get simple summaries of web pages, text, along with full translations. So if we jump into this, we'll go ahead and say summarize. We'll turn that on. You need to make sure that you go in and turn these features on. So let's go into our Samsung Internet and let's just open up a web page here. Let's go ahead and go to Google. There we go. So we've got some information here and we'll go ahead and open up a page. And so while we're in here, we can go ahead and click on the AI icon up here. This tells us it'll do summarize and translate web pages. So we'll say OK and we'll go ahead and click that. So now if we click, we have summarize or translate. So I'm just going to say summarize. And so what it's going to do is it's going to give us a summary of what is on that web page. So this is really nice if you don't have time to read through everything and you just want the bullet points, you can use this. This does only work in the Samsung internet, not with other browsers at this time. Okay, so the fifth AI feature I want to go over is Photo Editor. So Photo Editor it is, um, has AI generative editing capabilities. So we can resize objects and pictures, we can delete them, we can generate new backgrounds using AI, which fills in missing pieces. We'll go ahead and jump into this, we'll turn this on, and let's go ahead and go into our gallery. So if we go into the gallery here, let's just find a picture of a dog. So what we can do is we can click on the edit button here, and we have this little AI icon over here. So we can go ahead and click on that, and then we can either tap or draw around anything we wanna move or delete. So let's we wanted to move this dog here let's go ahead and just move them over here so we can just go ahead and move and then we're going to hit generate and it'll take just a minute and it's going to go ahead and generate any of the missing frames and fill in the background so let's go ahead and give it just a minute to update and see how well it does and there we go so you can see that it moved the object from here to here don't see any remnants of the object that was there before so ai went ahead and filled in any of those frames and missing spaces. We can go ahead and click done. Go ahead and take a look at another one. We'll go ahead and save a copy. It will show this little watermark down here showing that it was done via Samsung AI. Let's go ahead and take a look at a video. So you can press and hold down on a video to uh, make it in slow motion. So let's go ahead and find 
a video here. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into the gallery here. I've got a video that we can take a look at, a uh, video I took at the park. Um, so here's the original video here. And so what we can do is we can go ahead and go in and we can edit this. So we'll go into our edit. Okay, so what we're gonna do is uh, we're in the video here so we can adjust the speed of how fast or slow we want the video to go. So if we go ahead and let's just pick the section here, go ahead and start here, go ahead and click on adjust speed and we can do half the speed, a quarter of the speed. So we'll do a quarter of the speed. And then we have the ability to do the whole video or just a part of the video. So we can actually just drag this to where we want. And then we can go ahead and play it. So let's go ahead and hit play. And we'll start it from the beginning and we'll see that it is a normal one times speed. And now right here, it's gonna go into that nice slow motion of a quarter of the speed until it hits this point here and then it will go back to the normal speed. So this is a really nice feature to have if you do any editing on your phone. Um, you can have these like really nice slow motion videos. Um, so we'll let this go ahead and get through. We can see the birds and their feathers are nice and slow. We can see the ripples in the water, that nice slow motion. And as soon as this gets past that one point, you're going to see where it's going to speed back up and go back to the normal speed. And so right here, we can see it goes back to the normal speed that it was shot at. And then once you're done, you're going to go ahead and you're going to click on the three dots up here in the corner and we're going to save a copy. So that way we have a copy of the original. So this is our edit. So we'll go ahead and save that. It'll take just a minute and that'll save into your gallery. Okay, so now it's saved into our gallery. So the original one is this 23 seconds. And here's our new edited version. So if we go in here and play it, we're going to see it's going to play with the one time speed and now we've got that nice slow motion there. Uh, that is the fifth feature to go over for the new Galaxy AI on the Z Fold 5. Let me know in the comments below if you're looking to update your Z Fold 5 and check out the new features on One UI 6.1. If you're enjoying the video, please make sure to give us a like, consider subscribing to the channel, and click the bell notification so you get updated when new videos are uploaded. Appreciate you watching and we'll catch you in the next one.